Hey everyone. Um, I told you since I made a, a video early this morning, I might be making another one <laughs> this afternoon. So I'm working on my um, my third print here, uh, putting the the backing material on it. So I have a lot. Yeah. So I have something a little bit um, more substantial. And then I've been experimenting with um, some different options for uh, the rods and the, and the way I'm going to use the, um, put the putting the hanging uh, twine. I was thinking of maybe doing something with a half knot with this. But anyway, I haven't figured that out and I'm still thinking about using the um, the um, willow, which is kind of the the curly the curly uh, uh, words words um, <laughs> the curly wood rods that I got. Um, but it's a beautiful day out. It's absolutely gorgeous today. Um, it's probably in the mid 60s. Bright sunshine. Um, dry. I can feel it's gotten dry because my hair's gotten dry. And what you hear in the background is the new Decemberist album, which is out, The King is Dead, a return to their sort of more uh, folksy roots. Um, I saw a performance of their last album, The Hazards of Love. Um, I don't think it was last year. I think it was two years ago now, and it was it was awesome, but it was loud. <laughs> we saw it at the Fox Theater in Oakland, and oh my God, I definitely should have had um, some uh, some earplugs. Um, but this this album is. I guess they recorded it in a barn or something like that. Um, I heard Colin Malloy on. Um, I've seen him talking in a couple of places, but I heard him on NPR the other day talking about uh, the album. So anyway, so I got it, and uh, I'm giving it a first listen here, um, and doing some stitching. Uh, I'm going to, we had uh, a test in Aikido last night for uh, some of the blue belts. We're testing for the next cue, um, the brown belt. And it was a good test. Um, my senpai, one of the other black belts, called me, um, and not called me, left me a text message asking what I thought of the test. And it was good, but I had some, some comments to make, so I think we're going we're gonna to get together and go out to um, that uh, Japanese restaurant we went to for my birthday. We're going to go to Ipuku and um, get, some, get some dinner this evening and, and talk about it. And, um, you know, just, just having a, a nice afternoon, um, definitely in, I'm definitely in better spirits than I was uh, yesterday afternoon, which is really stressful, but uh, this time in my life, uh, I have, my hormones are like weird and everything is, I feel deeply already and <laughs> It only exacerbates that my emotions. So uh, it's it's a good it's a good tool for learning, and it's certainly a good a good tool for uh, sparking my creative thinking. Um, not just about how to deal with situations, but how to express it um, in my uh, in my artwork. Um, so it's, it's all good. Um, and that's about it. Just kind of hanging out, doing this. I'll take the dog for a walk in a little bit, get up for myself for a walk, and go to dinner in a little while. Um, oh, I had something funny happen on YouTube. And I don't know if this has happened to anybody else. Um, I would, I would guess it, it mainly happens to women, but who knows, maybe men have it happen to them too, where <laughs> people post very strange kind of inappropriate comments. I mean, they're not, 
I don't I don't know what they think. I don't know if they think it's going to be like well accepted or what, but if if somebody makes me uncomfortable by being like way too forward in their comments, um, I I'm I'm going to block that person. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that's just really too weird. Um, I've had it happen a couple times now, and it's just kind of odd. I don't know. I don't know what people think. I guess they don't think. I think maybe because it's the internet, they don't think it's a real person with like you know real sensibilities or, or something. But you know, I, and I'm a pretty I'm a pretty open person, but. Some things do make me uncomfortable, and, um, yeah, <laughs> it's just funny. I think it's really kind of hilarious, but anyhow, um, so anyway, uh, the internet's a funny place. It is probably the best of the best and the worst of the worst in some cases, and, uh, you just kind of have to take it for that. Um, I've been a, a citizen of the internet for a number of years now, and I've probably seen it all. <laughs> I've probably seen more than I want to. Um, but all that being said, I love communicating with people, and I love learning about people, and I love sharing and um, it's a pretty awesome way to do that and the pool is so much larger to find like-minded folks um, I would have never found some of my closest friends had it not been uh, for the internet and for my love of art and um, creativity so that's about it just, you know, kind of a random uh, afternoon chit-chat here. Um, I hope you are enjoying your day, and we'll be enjoying your evening, and you'll hear from me uh, tomorrow. Bye.